Hi, this is SynthChaser from SynthChaser.com. Today I'm going to demonstrate the easy to install battery eliminator module that I've created for the Oberheim OBXA and OB8 synthesizers, as well as the DMX and DX drum machines. The vintage Oberheim drum machines and synths like this OBXA store their presets in memory with the use of a battery backup. The battery is soldered to the motherboard of the synthesizer so it isn't very easy to change and it's not a cheap and easy to find battery either. The synths use a lithium battery like this one but the drum machines use a NICAD battery which often leaks and damages the circuit board with battery acid. This primitive 40 year old memory chip that the synth stores its presets in is highly failure prone and memory retention issues are a very common repair that I need to make to these synths. To address these shortcomings, I've created an easy to install battery eliminator module that replaces the memory chips and doesn't need a battery backup to save the data, much like a flash drive. Installing it is easy. You don't need to be the synth chaser in order to do this, and I'll show you how. Open up the synthesizer by removing two screws here and here on each side panel. Then lift up the lid of the synthesizer. Then locate the memory chip on this control board of your synthesizer. They're wide chips and they're labeled 6116 and are pretty easy to spot. This OBXA has just one of them. The memory chip has a small notch on one side here, which points towards pin 1, which is labeled on the circuit board. Just remember which way that's facing and we're going to put the new chip in in the same way. We'll pull the memory chip out with this optionally available IC puller. So we just grip it on both sides and pull it straight up and out of the board. So now we're ready to pop in the new module. So the, uh, the module has a little drawing of the notch here on the one side. Just make sure that's facing the same way as it was on the old memory chip. Line it up in the socket and pop it in. And you're done. At this point you don't need your old battery anymore so you can remove it. And you don't need to be able to solder to do it, you can just cut the tabs here and on the other side of the battery just to get it off. And now the battery's gone. So now that it's installed, let's see if it really works. So the first time I turn it on, the memory hasn't been initialized yet and just has garbage in it. So our patch here on A1 should just sound like junk. And it does. Um, so I switched over to manual mode, and in manual mode I've dialed up a patch that sounds like this. So let's write that patch into memory location A1, patch A1. And, and it takes that patch. So now I'll turn the synth off. And to show you that there's no tricks up my sleeve, I'll show you that the battery is still gone here. And we're giving it a few seconds to let any capacitors drain of any residual charge that they have. So we'll just wait a little bit. That should be good. So now we'll turn it on. And as expected, our sound is still saved into A1 but without a battery in the synthesizer. One cool thing you can do with this is you can get multiple modules and maintain different banks of sounds. Like you can have one with the factory presets loaded and then just pull it out and stick in one with your custom sounds. So no more having to mess around with that ancient cassette interface to back up and load your, your patches. This is available on my website, synthchaser.com, for the DMX and DX drum machines, as well as the OB8 and mid to later revision OBXAs that use this style of RAM chips. If you have any questions about compatibility with your revision OBXA, or if you've got some aftermarket MIDI upgrades installed, just send me a picture of your synths control board, and I'll let you know if this will work for you. I'm going to be making a special version of this for the Oberheim DSX sequencer shortly. If you have any questions or would like me to apply the same technology to another vintage synth you own, please drop me a line on my website or my Facebook page. This has been Synth Chaser from SynthChaser.com. Thanks for watching and have a great day.